Hey guys, Taylor here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you already been here, thanks for coming back. So in today's video, I'm going to be filming this holiday inspired glam for you guys. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this entire look, then please keep on watching. Before we start the video, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time I go upload a video. And follow me on Instagram. And with that being said, let's jump right into the video. All right, you guys, the brows are already done. I did switch it up a little bit today for the brows. I used the ABH brow pomade usually I use the one from elf but I cannot find that so I just use this one today but if you guys would like to see my brow routine I will have it linked up above as I said the only thing that I changed is the pomade that I used today before I jump into the eye look I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury magic serum by the way I didn't use the magic cream today because I am going to use a primer so I'm going in with the magic serum just so it can sit on my face while I do my eyes By the way, for my lips, I used the Fenty Skin Lip Oil. I'm going to be taking this ABH concealer in the shade number 18 as my eyeshadow base. I'm going to blend this out with my Shop Miss A sponge and then I'm going to set it down with some translucent powder. Okay, you guys, so I have this look in my head that I want to create. Nothing legendary, but I'm not sure what direction I'm going in, so I'm probably going to use more than one eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to start with the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette, and I'm using a 201 brush from BK Beauty, and I'm going to take this shade right here called Get It, and I'm going to blend that as my transition shade. I'm just going to use the same brush and I'm taking this shade right here called Confident. So I didn't go in with much of that brown shade because I just wanted to tone down the orange shade just a little bit. I'm going to be taking this palette from Pat McGrath. This is the Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palette. This is the holiday eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be using this green shade right here. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to try. I'm using the 212 brush from BK Beauty and I'm going to focus this on the outer portions of the eye. I'm just laying the shadow down and then I'll blend it out afterwards. So this is what we're looking like so far. I'm going to take back the first brush and I'm going to use a tiny bit of the brown shade and I'm just going to go over the edge just a little bit. So I wanted to use green on the lids, but because I went in with that shade, I think I'm just going to use this shade next to the green. Hopefully it looks good. If it doesn't look good, I'll just put a green shadow on top of it. But I'm going to apply this with my finger and hope for the best.
I'm going to take back the 212 brush with a little bit of the green shade and I'm just going to go back over the edges just so everything looks nice and together. I'm taking back the first brush again and I'm just going over the crease area. Okay you guys, so this is what the eyes are looking like. You can definitely create this eye look and skip the Huda Beauty palette, but you guys know me, I didn't know what direction I was going in. But this is what it looks like, I'm keeping it simple. You guys know I like to keep it simple. I'm going to apply some lashes and then we can jump into the base. While my lash glue is drying, I'm just going to move on to my base. I probably should have used smaller lashes. Let's see what it looks like once I'm done doing my entire face. For primer, I'm using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. So for foundation, I'm going to be mixing two foundations. I'm using the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Macau, and I'm mixing this with my Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation in the shade 4N68. I haven't used this foundation in a long time, so I wanted to pull it out today. I haven't used them together before, so hopefully this combo looks good. And I'm blending this out with a 106 brush from BK. This is what the foundation mix is looking like. Let me know what you guys think. For concealer, I'm using my Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. This is in the shade 35N. I'm not going in with too much concealer. And I'm going to mix with a little bit of my Huda Beauty Concealer in the shade 6.5 Brittle. I'm going to let this sit while I apply my cream bronzer. I'm using the LYS cream bronzer in the shade Strength. And I'm going in with a very light hand. If I need more, then I'll add it. I'm going to use this A507 brush. This is from the BK Beauty X Angie Hot and Flashy. Because the brush that I usually use is dirty, so I'm just using this one. This bronzer is a need. It's the best $19 you will ever spend. If this doesn't convince you to pick this bronzer up, I don't know what will. By the way, I do have a discount code with LYS, so I will have that linked down below. But this bronzer, it's just a must have. It is just perfect. I'm going to blend my concealer. I'm using this Strawberries and Cream Sponge from Sephora Collection. I'm not sure if this sponge is still available. If it is, I will have it linked down below for you guys. I'm going to start with my forehead. I'm going to take back the bronzer brush and I'm just going to go over the edges of my concealer.
So I'm going to skip cream blush because I want to keep it pretty subtle being that I already have green on my eyes. So I'm just going to use a powder blush. I'm going to set my face. I'm using the Sephora Translucent Setting Powder. I had to pop the cap out. I'm about to finish yet another Sephora Translucent Setting Powder. This is another product. If you don't own this, I don't know what you're doing. I'm just going to go back in with my sponge, blend any creasing that might have happened, and then I'll go in with my powder. And the sponge that I'm using is another Shop Miss A Papa sponge. I'm going to set everywhere else with my Dior Powder No Powder in the shade 6N and I'm using a 105 brush. I'm taking my Garnier Face Mist just to help with the powderiness. I'm going to be taking my Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Powder with the Power Pocket Puff from Beauty Blender and I'm going to use this to brighten my under eyes and my forehead. Taking my Garnier Spray again. Before I continue with the rest of my base, I'm just going to do my lower lash line. I'm using the Sephora Gel Liner in the shade Molasses. I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. I'm using this E18 brush and I'm going to take the green shade and I'm just going to use that to blend the eyeliner out. Eyes are looking a little bit smokier than usual, but I like it. I went in with a little bit of the Rare Beauty mascara on my top and bottom lashes, and I'm going to apply some bronzer. I'm using my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy. This is another one that I haven't used in a really long time, so I wanted to pull this out today. And I'm using the E3 brush from Morphe. So as I said, I'm keeping the blush subtle, so I'm using this OPV Born to Shine blush palette and I'm going to be mixing these two shades right here, the shade Unstoppable and the shade Positive and I'm using this Real Techniques blush brush and I'm mixing both shades. I'm going in with a super light hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, so for the fun part for the lips, I'm going to do the same thing that I did last year. I'm going to give you guys two options. I'm going to give you the classic holiday red lip as well as a nude. And then you guys are going to decide and let me know if you prefer the red lip or the nude lip. So I'm going to start with the nude just because last time I did this, the red kind of stained my lip. So I'm going to do the nude lip first. Before I do that, I'm going to set my face. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray mixed with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic acid a setting spray for the lip liner I'm using the makeup forever lip liner in the shade 608 limitless brown
For lipstick, I'm using the tiniest bit of this Patrick Ta lipstick. This is in the shade She's Independent. Then I'm using the Morphe Gloss in the shade Flower Crown. I'm going to add a little bit of my Pat McGrath Gloss in the shade For Real. Okay, you guys, so this is the nude lip. I love the way this looks, but you know me, I love a good nude lip combo. For the red lip, I have options. I'm not going to apply all of them, but I wanted to give you guys different options. The first one that I have is from Fenty. This is in the shade Uncensored. The next one that I have is from Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Lover. The next one that I have isn't a matte lip. It has a slight shine to it. This is from YSL. I got this in a set from Sephora. This is in the shade 01. The last one that I have is from Bite Beauty in the shade Hot Tomato. This is literally the perfect holiday red. I don't know if you can get this anymore. So I wanted to give you guys options. My two favorite is the one from Bite Beauty and the one from Fenty. So I went ahead and I swatched them. This one right here is from YSL. As I said, it has a slight shine to it. This one down here is the Bite Beauty. This is the Huda Beauty. And this one at the bottom is the Fenty. I am just going to use the lipstick from Bite Beauty because honestly, you guys, it is easier. The liquid is a lot harder to work with and I don't have any more red lips. I don't do red lips often. So let me know your favorite red lip in the comment section down below. I am going to film a drugstore holiday glam. So if you have any drugstore red lips, let me know in the comment section as well. So I'm just going to go with this one. This looks gorgeous and it's giving holiday. I'm so sorry that I don't have any other red lipsticks, but you guys know I hardly wear red lipsticks. So let me know your favorite in the comment section down below. Let me know if you prefer the red lip or the nude lip. As I said before, I am going to be filming a drugstore holiday glam. So if you have a favorite drugstore red lip, let me know in the comment section down below or just any drugstore products that you want me to try out. Once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.